Chinese bombers and fighter jets and warships drill in first military exercise near Taiwan in months. Taiwan's defense ministry has said that Chinese bombers, fighter jets and warships were spotted near the self-ruled island nation, the first such reported activity in several months. According to the defense ministry, People's Liberation Army aircraft, including H-6 heavy bombers, Y-8 transport aircraft and Sukhoi-30 fighter jets, departed from the PLA's Huyang Air Base for a flight over the Bashi Channel, the waterways south of Taiwan, on their way to the Western Pacific Ocean for what Beijing has called routine distance sea exercises. The aircrafts later returned to their home base. The ministry said, it said two Chinese warships were also detected just outside Taiwan's air defense identification zone off the country's southeastern coast. The two vessels were believed to be taking part in the same drills as the Chinese aircraft. The ministry added, it said it had closely monitored the movements of the Chinese aircraft and ships. Japan beefs up defenses amid concerns over China's military might. Japan will bolster air and sea defenses amid strong concern about growing Chinese air and naval activity in the region, according to newly released defense guidelines. The guidelines, adopted by the cabinet, include plans to adapt to existing helicopter carriers so that they can accommodate fighter jets effectively turning them into aircraft carriers. Under the 10-year plan, Japan will improve the defense of its outlying Pacific Islands in response to Chinese military expansion, as Tokyo the key ally of US in the Asia-Pacific comes under pressure from the Trump administration to take more responsibility for its own security. Japan will buy 45 F-35 stealth fighters in addition to 42 jets that are already on order. According to a separate five-year procurement plan the cabinet approved the same day, it will also acquire two US land-based Aegis missile defense systems as well as other American missile interceptors. By modifying its two 248-meter-long helicopter carriers, Japan would in effect be acquiring its first aircraft carriers since the end of World War II. In another controversial move, Japan will acquire cruise missiles designed to hit enemy targets. The plans will take Japan closer to achieving regional power status amid dramatic increases in Chinese military spending, a nuclear-armed North Korea and a resurgent Russia. Indonesia opens military base on edge of South China Sea to deter security threats. Indonesia opened a military base with more than 1,000 personnel on the southern tip of the disputed South China Sea, where the territorial claims of China and several other countries overlap. The base is located in Selat Lampa on Natuna Bezar Island part of the Natuna Islands one of the country's outermost areas and more than 200 kilometers off the island of Borneo. Indonesia is not a claimant site in the South China Sea but Jakarta and Beijing have had several maritime skirmishes in the resource-rich area including one in 2016 when an Indonesian patrol boat seized a 300-ton Chinese fishing vessel. Several hours later, a Chinese Coast Guard vessel rammed the fishing boat, resulting in the Indonesian authorities releasing it. It is not disclosed the exact number of military personnel in the Natuna Islands area, but said the new base is supported by an army battalion, companies of marines and engineers, and artillery. In Indonesia's military, a battalion consists of between 825 and 1,000 personnel, while a company consists of about 100 personnel. The new base also has a hangar for an unmanned aerial vehicle squadron. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.